Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading for Taurus. How are you guys, Taurus? Hope you're all doing well. Thanks so much for dropping in. Taurus, what does Taurus need to know? Clear messages for Taurus. I did put singles love readings up on Monday. You can check those out in my playlist. I do them every Monday. All right, Taurus, there we go, shine. Ooh, lots of people are getting that. Raising that vibration. Whatever you put out there comes back to you. Okay. Lovely. <laughs> yeah, it's because you're detaching from something. You're releasing something. Okay. Uh, making peace with the past or just feeling more at peace because you've let go of something. So this is really positive. Raising that vibration. Yeah. So there's some kind of dreams coming true. Okay. Look at that lovely energy. If it, definitely more positive. But it is an energy of having to release something, okay, to feel more at peace. Now I see this nine. You got some dreams coming true here. Yeah, look at that. Taurus. What does Taurus need to know? Clear messages and guidance for Taurus. Yeah, so we have two of cups, two people coming together. Lovely. Higher vibrational connection. Very positive. Oh, yeah, there you are. <laughs> very focused yeah you're you know i tell you you're very focused you know you've got your you're planning for the future here too and i feel as though you're very grounded sensible stable practical very focused on your money as well so i do feel there's a, uh, this energy to do with that but it's about being comfortable two people being comfortable together oh yeah there we go yeah, we got financial stability. Very nice. Very focused on your money. Creature comforts of home. Two people building each other up here. It's two people coming together to build, okay, to create. This is fine. This could actually be already a relationship. Uh, see somebody here who could possibly already be in a relationship. But this is a connection between two. Uh, it's two people being friends, talking, sharing their feelings back and forth. Two people looking out for each other's best interests. So feels is really something positive. And I do feel there's this need to let go of something to kind of just make peace. It could be two people making peace. Uh, you know, it could be like the resurgence of a relationship. Yeah, there's some growth here. Feeling on top of the world, there's some kind of growth to do with change. Yeah, see, we've got an energy here, four of cups. Yeah, this is where something just isn't good enough. Okay, it's time for change. I can see it. So it's in the um, um, whatever it is that you need to let go of, whatever you need to detach from is going to bring that change. Okay, some of you may be just bored too. You may be a little bit bored here or you're just not sure. Okay, some of you might be an energy where you feel like you need to move on or something isn't right. But, you know, it's an energy of boredom as well. But it's telling you to raise that high vibration. Focus on the positive. It's an energy of, look at that beautiful energy. I love it when this card comes out with that shine, with that high vibration. Uh, because this is someone going within themselves, looking at things from a different perspective, seeing things differently. It's two people seeing things from each other's perspective. <laughs> Maybe you're just kind of, you know, it could be a relationship where you're just kind of bored, you know, feeling like moving on. It's like nothing's moving, but I do feel there is room for growth because it's about seeing things from each other's perspective here. Yeah, getting out with friends and family. Yeah, this is someone who has a lot of love for friends and family. I see a king of cups. Uh, beautiful energy. Ooh. Dreams coming true. Yeah, so there is something building. It's about working and building, building things for a family. Uh, for those of you where it is not a, a committed relationship, I feel that you're just being sensible and practical, very focused on money. You want stability. You want to be comfortable, okay? Uh, so I feel there's an energy. Like I say, what you put out there comes back. So there's that energy for growth as well. Some of you may be moving on. You're not so sure, maybe getting bored or you're just not so sure, okay, about the person who's uh, coming towards you. I see you making some kind of choice or decision. Now, it could be a friendship, maybe taking things to another level. You may be a little unsure. I see a little Pisces energy. So we have someone here is kind of, you know, kind of looking at you, checking you out. <laughs> yeah. I see somebody in the community, social media, online dating. It's going to be someone through friends or family. This is somebody definitely 
Uh, has a lot of love for friends and family. This is someone that definitely works a lot. Somebody who wants to build. It's just building towards, oh yeah, it's a passionate new beginning. It wanted to come out. So somebody who wants to build. There's room for growth. But I feel that there is here. It's like getting bored. Nothing is changing in a relationship or a situation. So I feel it's an energy of just kind of calming down, detaching from the results so much. Kind of just going with the flow, letting things evolve. Okay, so somebody maybe gets bored easy. But I can see you. You've got your eye on the prize. You want stability. You want to be financially stable. You want a partner. You want someone who looks out for your best interests. And I do see, you know, it could be a friendship, or like I say, or already res uh, existing uh, relationship. But it's about building, having this passion at the beginning. There's always room for growth. So it's really about being passionate, about moving forward, allowing things to grow. You can see a butterfly. This is something that creates that transformation. Things are blossoming and blooming. You see, it's growing. So there is some kind of dreams coming true, something that you're very passionate about. Someone here finds you very attractive. <laughs> oh, yeah, you've got someone here who definitely uh, wants this. It could be already a partner or someone who wants to take things to another level. Uh, lovely energy. Let's see what this Two of Cups is. Oops, courting and dating. Yeah, nice. So someone here who's coming in, taking action to communicate. Uh, share some feelings so it's a, it could be a dating period maybe it's time to take things a little bit further i can see you being sensible focused you're looking at the details okay not so sure maybe you're comfortable with it but yeah i'll see it's about two people building each other up it's about whether someone's compatible or if you're on the right path you may be not so sure because i feel you're not sure if you're on the right path or if this person's right for you but I do feel it takes cooperation and compromise. Yeah, see, there's that Empress energy, the birth of something new. High vibrational energy. Lovely. You know, I'm going to tell you, this is, uh, I feel we have someone here who gets bored or there's a some stagnant kind of energy in a relationship as well. Someone may be wanting children. Uh, you know, it's an Empress energy. It's a healing energy. It's somebody who's very balanced, willing to cooperate, compromise, uh, to bring in that new energy, that high vibration. It's very positive. Tell me about this shine. Why is this here? Yeah, it's an energy to release. See, to detach something, uh, end of a cycle, uh, and things going in your favor. So it's about looking at the bright side, by releasing the attachment to the results, okay? Uh, and just moving forward. Some of you may be thinking of ending something with someone, though, and letting them go. Uh, you know, like I say, it could go either way. Uh, it's about letting things evolve, room for growth, the world, feeling on top of the world, but someone here isn't sure, okay? Someone's not quite so sure, but it's also an energy of possibly missing an opportunity, too, you know? Yeah. Detaching from the results, I feel, too, in this situation. Just sort of being on that path. You're wondering if this is the right path, if this person's compatible. I feel like it could be them. I'm a little unsure. <laughs> Dating court. I feel like it's the resurgence of an already uh, committed relationship for some. That's why it's a bit confusing. And then I also see someone who wants to court and date. They want to get to know, you know, see if someone's compatible. You definitely want that. Uh, your empress definitely doesn't settle for anything but someone who's compatible. It's about building. Uh, there's, see, there's that emotional fulfillment. There's something very happy, very positive. It's about looking at the bright side. It's about looking into the future. Do you see yourself with this person? Uh, long term, you may not be sure. Okay. Yeah, you may not be a little bit sure. Or they're not, possibly as well. <laughs> yeah, that's how they're looking at things. Maybe taking a little pause. Okay, looking at things from a different perspective. That's that moment to, you know, a little introspection about this connection. Yeah, it's definitely an energy of taking things slow. Someone who's planning for success. So it's about planning for success. Okay, approaching things in a different manner, seeing it differently. It's also, like I say, two people seeing things from each other's perspective. Yeah, it's about doing what's right. Yeah, it could be someone's change of perspective about marriage or commitment or if they want to stay committed to someone or if they want things to move forward. Tell me about detach. Why is this here? Yeah, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. You've got the King and Queen of Pentacles yet again. <clears throat> this is a very common energy this last while. It's just building and building and building. Uh, that's why I feel there's a lot of people. There's going to be resurgence of already established relationships. Uh, I feel a lot of people are going to be taking things to the next level. A lot of people are paying a lot more attention to that compatibility. 
the cooperation, the compromise, uh, a releasing. Okay, this could be a reconciliation. Somebody could be um, letting go of something, detaching. And ready to move forward. Yeah, I, I, I feel like <laughs> this is about whether things will go in someone's favor. Maybe there's been this on and off situation here. Uh, but it's really about that positive energy. Oh, here comes the light. I'm going to have to take a moment to fix that. It's all right. I'm prepared. It just changes like at the last moment this time of day where the sun swings. And of course, it casts shadows. Sorry, everyone. So here we are. We got a king of pentacles, someone financially stable, grounded, practical. Okay, yeah. So someone here's a little indecisive. You got someone who's unsure if they want to end a situation, okay? Whether they feel this is right, if they want to get married, they're moving through this. This is someone plans for success. They want to do the right thing. Uh, but there's some indec indecision. This is someone who's up in their head or, you know, someone who's failing to recognize to see something. Okay, someone's failing to recognize an opportunity because they're in their head a little with that indecision. Yeah. So I feel as though you're sitting up there, you know. I feel they are someone who's a little indecisive, a bit wishy-washy, uh, kind of not sure. But I do, feel it, it, I do feel a lot of positive energy. So I see that Three of Cups. This is family, friends, socializing, uh, some very positive news. Yeah, so I do see some kind of leap of faith, uh, taking this, uh, leaving something behind, detaching, taking a risk in love here. Uh, I think this person's ready to build something. I feel this is someone who's about to make a decision what's right. See, they're coming, moving away, I feel, from that indecision. Uh, this is definitely uh, someone who loves friends and family, emotionally available, mature, somebody who very works very hard. I feel like it's definitely a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a little Libra energy. This person may be in their head a bit. Yeah, this is someone gaining that strength and confidence here, ready to take a risk. Yeah, someone's feeling better here. I feel like I don't know whether they're re releasing a situation. Uh, whatever it is, it could be uh, somebody changing jobs, finding a new job, feeling better or just feeling more creative, uh, more passionate about uh, something new here because it has to do with dreams coming true. This is an energy of nine of wands, ten of wands energy. You see, someone's putting something behind, they're leaving it behind, ready to take a risk. They're finding that inner strength and confidence. They're taming that beast within themselves, whatever that is. Everyone has that little beast within, you know, whether it's impatience or, you know, it could be anything. But this is someone who's feeling a lot stronger, a lot more confident about work, friends and family, taking a leap of faith. This is a higher vibration. Someone's feeling more playful, more full of energy. Yeah, we got a little Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, I feel we got someone here who's definitely in that chariot energy. They're uh, very much in control of their emotions. This is someone who's uh, working towards success. This is someone who's determined here. So this is someone controlling their emotions, not letting them rule them. But it's also a person who's staying on course, planning for success, creating something new. Very passionate about this new beginning. Like I say, whether it's a already established relationship, you know, where someone's getting kind of bored or feeling like, you know, they don't have the things they need or something's not right. Uh, but I do see this justice and balance, somebody planning for success to do the right thing. This is someone who wants to do the right thing. Uh, they're planning something, okay? They're trying to do things just right. But it is a choice, a decision about what's right or not uh, after that change of perspective. <laughs> someone's thinking about marriage or commitment possibly here as well for some of you. Tell me about this Knight of Cups. Oh yeah, dating courting. You're going to get some kind of an invitation here. You may meet this person somewhere or there's some kind of invitation with friends and family. It's about compatibility. Uh, it's about people fitting in in each other's lives here. Lovely energy. You could meet this person on a dating site through some friends or just social media, whatever the situation. It's a, it's a social energy, community. Yeah, some very positive news. So if something is shifting, there's some kind of change. Things are about to shift in your favor. It's going to make you feel good, okay? A higher vibrational energy. That's what I feel. It's positive. I love that. Yeah, you go, there's a shift coming. I feel like it's this could be a windfall of abundance, money coming in, a change of jobs, getting a new job. 
Okay, someone's definitely been feeling a little down in the slumps here. I can feel that overall energy, but I see you here. Okay, now this could be yourself here, feeling indecisive, not sure. You could be the King of Queen, King of Pentacles, or the Queen of Pentacles energy. Take it how it resonates for you. But that Queen of Pentacles wants teamwork, cooperation, compromise. Okay, this is something about compatibility. Two people who are going to build and create something. It's the birth of something new. Like I say, the resurgence of a relationship. Two people making peace, leaving something behind and moving towards and having a new beginning. It's that passion, that creativity. I feel like there's something to do with work. Two people creating something here. Now, this could be a lot of different things. Uh, but it's a you know it's that very positive energy so let's see what this ace of wands is oh yeah it's about two people being on the same page um, i see a little pisces energy trusting your intuition this is an energy how someone's conducting themselves okay so they're trusting their intuition being very wise the inner knowing so someone here already knows everything they need to do <laughs> you know they already know this is an energy of marriage material, but it's about two people being on the same page, two people who have the same lifestyle, just get each other. It's very comfortable with the King and Queen of Pentacles. It's very comfortable. It's like you get each other. It's also an energy of conditioning. Somebody may have lost control here at some point here, but they're gaining control. They're moving forward here because of that strength and confidence. Something feels new, okay, when it comes to that. This is positive. It's, you know, teamwork, the way someone... Uh, conducts themselves the way they behave their belief their behavior you see it's just trusting their own intuition to do with this new beginning so someone who already knows everything they need to know they already know okay they know who you are <laughs> they know what they want yeah it's about belief and this is someone who you know about having faith someone having renewed faith in a situation Tell me more about the, after a period of introspection. Yeah, see someone's kind of pulling back a little, tempering their passions, emotions, or feelings. And they're, uh, I feel this is someone who is, you know, kind of calming down a little. You know, they're looking at things different. They're ready to try something different. Now, like I say, it could be a new job, something creative, very, uh, that's driving this person's passion. And it, I feel like the work creativity has something to do with this relationship because it's going to be a collaboration to the birth of something new but something needs to be let go okay has to do with this decision um yeah see it has to do with that aha moment the light bulb some kind of creative idea the light bulb going off <laughs> it's about success you see uh, you focus on success think positive it comes towards you i like this energy Taurus I feel like you know whether it's yourself or the other person I feel there's this energy of two people who were just right for each other two people who actually fit or on the same page the same path you know wanting the same things and that's what I feel is happening here okay like I say whether it's an established relationship or something new uh, I like it because I feel like someone's being sensible they are indecisive there's something they weren't seeing they realize and they need to release something they need to detach Someone feels that they may have, you know, somebody has been in their head and feels they've missed an opportunity, right? A window of opportunity, whether it's work or relationship. So, yeah, you know, someone who I feel, you know, that three of cups was afraid to take a risk. Could be someone you've met, okay, someplace at some point, you know, kind of just taking their time, to, you know, they're not so sure if it'll be successful, if you're the right person. You see, because they're in their head. Yeah, see, this is someone who might be a little worried about rejection or they fail to see, fail to miss an opportunity. Yeah, so I feel like there's actually another opportunity here. Yeah, we have the King and Queen of Cups here, though. We have two people who actually have a lot of feelings and emotions for each other, both tempering your feelings, emotions, two people here. It's about whether something's right for you or not. Okay, it's definitely that energy of chemistry and emotional. It's about the mixing of two elements. Uh, creating that balance when something is just right <laughs> yeah it's about doing the right thing you know conforming you know fitting in together whether you're on the same page the same lifestyle i feel like it's good it's just a you know trusting the intuition you already know all the answers you already know or this person already knows they already know i see a pisces you both could have that energy in your chart you know that intuition that connection that bond so see about justice here why is justice here for taurus 
Yeah, so see, that's why I say there's that opportunity. If somebody wants another opportunity, fresh new start, resurgence of a relationship, sort of renewing uh, something here as well. But it's that fresh opportunity. It's, it, it's something about justice and balance. Someone failed to recognize an opportunity. They want another opportunity, okay? Yeah, I feel there's a lot of passion, a lot of drive. Uh, definitely work and creativity. It's about building, planning for success and succeeding because the chariot charges full steam ahead uh, for this energy. And so I feel someone's gaining a lot more strength, uh, a lot more confidence about taking a risk. Yeah, see, so somebody who's thinking of it, someone who's lacked the confidence and the strength to take a risk in the past, you know, unrequited love or someone who's just been kind of holding back here. This could be someone in your social circle. I'm going to tell you, for a lot of you, you may have had a date or so with this person and then they're kind of moving slow. Now they're about to make a decision. They may be worried they've missed an opportunity because they were indecisive about something. They were unsure. Now it could have been their future uh, to do with work or you know where they were headed as well. It could be something to do with a contract, a negotiation. Yeah, it's two people going to talk. You're going to make some kind of a, a deal here, I feel. <laughs> All right, it looks good. So, yeah, there's that communication. You're looking at it. You're looking at the details. You're taking your time. You're seeing this communication here. This person's definitely, you're looking to see this energy about the strength and confidence. I feel there's someone going to come in and communicate that energy. Full steam ahead, yeah. See, this is about the strength. This person's gaining the strength. So there's definitely strong feelings, okay? There's a lot of strong feelings. This person may have kept it to themselves. Maybe they're afraid to approach. Maybe they weren't sure. Maybe even if you were single, okay? Uh, but I see that Empress. This is someone who sees that Empress energy. So nice. Tell me more about the Empress. Yeah, see, someone has a little regrets and remorse. See, they were focused on negative things that weren't working in the relationship or things that didn't work in the past, you know, cup half full. But they're having this moment here where they know they need to release it. They need to detach from that energy. So, yeah, just to look at the success, look at the positive energy in the connection. So good. It's almost, it feels very enlightening uh, here. Yeah, there's the offer. There it is. They want to offer something solid. This is a commitment. This is an agreement between two people to commit, to have faith in each other. And trying something different, doing things different. You know, like I say, if there's a relationship or a marriage where, you know, there's somebody feeling a little bored or feeling like, you know, it's not right or something's off, whatever it is, I feel as though it's because there's some kind of blocked energy, some kind of detach. Yeah, I, I could be to do with work, money, finances, things like that. But I do feel there's definitely the energy of building and working full steam ahead. Something to do with cars, driving. Okay, it's like a, someone's just feeling better the way they're conducting themselves. Uh, there's definitely that change. It's different. Uh, something, uh, this could be two people who are actually very much the same yet different. But I feel it's definitely full steam ahead. There's a, some kind of thing to do with work and a job, driving, an offer. Okay, it's about planning for success, moving towards this successfully. Um, yeah, there's a few things definitely going on. Let's grab some charms here for Taurus. So we have communication. We have the four-leaf clover. So there's good luck here. I like that because we do have the wheel of fortune. So it's serendipity, um, you know, positive energy, some kind of news here with that communication. Uh, there's that good omen, my favorite, the dragonfly. There's the strength. And we have an anchor. So to me, that's something solid, all right? But it's also about deep feelings, deep emotions. Now, there's that decision, that judgment. You see that? Someone's making a judgment and a decision here uh, to, you know, to, to create more success, to move forward, full steam ahead. There's a key. Something to do with the key, key to the cars. I, I feel someone's taking a job. It could be driving, truck driving. Um, could be anything, but whatever it is, it's an energy of movement forward, full steam ahead. Uh, I see a glass of wine, so there's definitely courting and dating, okay? Two people drinking from each other's cup here. You got that cup being offered. Um, 
I see another four leaf clover and I see a child. So it could be that leap of faith, you know, feeling like a child, feeling renewed, having that energy, that vigor. Because the fools like that kind of somebody who's always youthful. So uh, something is being renewed. OK, and I it, it's either a relationship uh, I don't see any uh, real breakup. It could be a reconciliation, but I feel it's a situation where someone's been down in the dumps, focusing on the negative, not the positive things in a connection. And there's some kind of regret here. Someone feels they may have missed an opportunity, or maybe somebody did miss an opportunity because they were indecisive and there's some kind of issues there. Someone may be rejecting a lot of offers, can't make up their mind. They're afraid to take a risk when it comes to the money, okay, as well, this job. But the offer is coming in, some kind of positive news, okay? See some loving, nurturing, and caring energy. See uh, this beautiful energy here. And nice. Yeah, some kind of a contract negotiation and agreement. So let me grab a couple of letters and we'll get this wrapped up. So I see a C, an R, an H, a P, an N, and a Z. Sometimes Z is a little bit of boredom where someone's bored, they're just not sure, um, you know, not sure if something's good enough. They're taking their time. They're planning for success, but they're moving slow, you see. <laughs> I see the U, there's that chariot U-turn. Someone's having a, a change of heart, right? They're uh, definitely feeling a lot better here. Very positive energy. Uh, I feel it's a healing, a releasing. And it could, like I say, it'll be different for everyone. You know, it could be just someone releasing anxiety or getting out of their head ready to make a decision. Pull out one more. So I'm going to just, okay, so I see a V for victory here as well. That's that victory. So C, R, uh, Z, two R's, H, N, U, another R, three R's, P, and V. I'll pull out another one and an I. First and last initials, maybe where you'll meet this person. It could have to do with a job, negotiation here, okay, to do with work. Uh, just give it a chance to play out. But I do see dating and courting. I see that glass of wine that or that cup. Um, there could be children involved here too. A little reminiscing, a little melancholy, some kind of contract, negotiation, uh, some kind of commitment. It could involve children. But it's also some energy of uh, gift giving. Somebody sharing their feelings, doing sweet things for someone, giving them some kind of a gift. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's about keeping things kind of simple, okay? Keeping things simple, having faith in a situation. I like it. So I'll just move that. It popped out when I was, it's funny because I did kind of feel children energy here before, but um, the card didn't come out, but I was feeling it, so there it is. So there could be children or a child involved, or someone wants children, or it could be someone, you know, to do with single parent. But a lot of times, like I say, it's a gift. It's an offering. Uh, it could be a peace offering, something special, something sentimental, uh, you know, something to create those memories. So, yeah, there's a lot of memories here, I feel, for some of you. Lovely energy. Let me grab the couple outcome cards, and we are so done. Taurus, where's this headed? What's the outcome of this situation? Yeah, so someone's resting and reconsidering. So after a little bit of a break, someone's chilling out. You see, it's becoming in with that positive energy. So it's about daydreams and decisions. Someone's been in their head trying to figure some things out about their feelings, emotions, to do with work. A lot going on here. Uh, but it's definitely that uh, time to make a decision. Someone's about to make a decision. And it has to do with the communication, some kind of offer, something coming in. Uh, definitely. Uh, that's going to lead to success. I also see the energy of children keeping things kind of simple, simply love. Yeah, two people who just love each other. Children involved for some of you. Others of you, it's just uh, someone uh, wanting to kind of keep things simple, you know, uh, doing and saying sweet things. <laughs> and I see this movement, yeah. Two people strengthening bonds, making a move. You know, it's two people sharing the same feelings, drinking from that cup. There's love here. Someone's about to make a move for some of you, okay? Some of you is about uh, making a move. Some of you, there could be relocation here to do with work, travel to do with work. There could be something there. But I do see the strengthening bonds moving towards that new, that very positive energy. See, it's just flowing right through here. 
So really good. So two people connecting and strengthening bonds. There is a strong connection, whether this is a relationship, rec reconciliation, or some, you know, just a couple who are kind of bored, don't know what to do. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's positive. Yeah. Giving and receiving equally. Two people sharing. So very positive. I wish you guys the very best in this. Remember the dragonfly. It's a very good omen. And that plus that energy. We have the four leaf clover twice. Okay. So there's a lot of positive flow. This is about abundance, finding strength and confidence, but that abundance. This is a could be a long term relationship, taking things to a next level. Uh, but definitely with the job, the abundance starting to flow. So really nice. All right, Taurus, wish you the best. Take care and we'll see you soon.